Hi guys, welcome to another video. We can clearly see the market had a very beautiful weekly bullish engulfing close, and that has brought us into 47,000. We did discuss we're going to be reaching 46,000 this week. I'm a bit sick today, I have a very bad sore throat, nose block, just showered, feeling a bit better. So do bear with me if I sneeze or you can't hear my voice properly. So now we can get into why it was a bullish engulfing candle. We can clearly see here that we had a massive bullish engulfing candle. We can see that candle here clearly very big candle a lot of volume as well if we see it on the weekly but not as much as the one in the previous week so that could be a very very big sign for us to be very very cautious some kind of big correction can come here even if i open market cipher and see what are the ems talking about so the ems are asking us to come down to all the way above 42,000. You can see that the index today is clearly at 60 level finally in greed after a very very long time and that feels very very good it feels refreshing that finally we are in a greed system and um, very very happy to see that that we are here i did predict that we're going to be getting in here so i am pretty happy about that we can also see we have a very good uptrend going on right now so we did have a, some kind of correction and we, we came down from 51 to 49 and now we are at 60 that looks very very healthy now we get into our crypto bubbles we can clearly see that the bubbles are all major markets everything has been pumping everything looks good the major reason why i think this pump had been coming in the market and what prompted this pump has to be luna's owner du Quan because he had been buying about three billion dollars in bitcoin to boost the protocol's reserve and according to many reports and blockchain analysis terra bought 125 million in bitcoin because he's going to back it up his ust coin with bitcoin in reserves and then luna is obviously going to blast off too it's a very beautiful ecosystem we're also seeing some good signs coming from avax as well avax just finished the summit that was happening in europe and now we are uh, understanding that they're going to be giving subnets subnets are very important because if you have a game you're going to have your own net that's going to bring a lot of volume into avax as well i think a lot of gaming co coins metaverse coins are definitely going to be looking into that because it's a very very bullish sign now we look into our charts clearly we want to see what is going to be us happening to us in the short and long run so even four hours is drawing a very good picture for us right now we can clearly see that the market cipher is asking in four hours to come back into closer to the trend line and take a good bounce that would be a very healthy sign we did that similarly here and we could do a similar pullback here as well we can be probably building some kind of support here if we look at the volume also volume is all right not so bad not so good but overall if you look from this week the volume is a lot better and overall things do look good market sentiment is also pretty good the main reason i'm still not very very bullish right now has to be dxy because in my eyes dxy has to come down lower than this that would be a very very bullish sign for us overall i don't feel like that we can be extremely getting into a massive bull run until or unless dxy comes down or we can even presume that it's going to remain sideways in these channels i can't see it breaking out because if it breaks out obviously there will be more trust of investors into dollar index and other protocols than bitcoin but you never know things have been changing we are at war also so a lot of things are now very different from what we have seen in before so we have to be very patient and watch that very carefully now we look into usdt's dominance we did expect usdt's dominance to come down all the way to 3.69 we are coming there very very quickly we can clearly see that in this chart as well it was a very very good signal when we started breaking down from here that now we can expect some kind of big movements to be coming in cryptocurrencies nfts and other kind of protocols as well now even if you look into bitcoin's dominance we can see that the dominance have been pretty sideways it's just been trading in this region making good w in four hours but let's see whether we're going to break that out or not because we really need some kind of big volume to be coming into the markets even it looks very good others dominance almost into the region that we wanted it to be deep so we can see here that the other dominance is already facing some kind of resistance from our 16.58 percent we would ideally want to break above this and we can also make a massive cup and handle if we do go all the way up to the levels of 18.29 that would be a very very good amazing sign bring a cup handle here almost and then blast off that would bring massive money into all coins and probably will be one of the biggest run we've seen in all coins that would be very very bullish for the markets right now now if you look into it we can clearly see that it is the one that is bringing this upside rally it is looking very very good has already broken into resistance now it's just trading at the key zone hopefully we can break above this we had come into these levels before as well when we dumped and then we had a retest but then we dumped pretty bad and now we are making a massive uh, w as well here and a lot of other things we had a cup also that has already broken now so overall it looks very very good but we would ideally want it to come where somewhere around here we can even check it on cypher where are the places we can expect it to come so we can expect some places like in these regions or somewhere around this region as well ideally we would want it to come to this line and about make some kind of support and then go up we don't want to have all kind of pumps happening because we know when we pump hard we dump hard as well so we would ideally want the market to be 
having a pump and then some kind of correction and then some kind of pump again. For A exit, we discussed that A exit can come back into these regions after having a pump. We had breaking into our zones clearly. So now we are just trading and just around this box, which is a very, very good sign for us. Also, we wouldn't want it to just be in these areas. We would want it to now have an upside rally and probably have a bigger upside. If we look at it overall, it is a very good handle for our cup. So overall, it could go back into the ranges of easily above $83. I think it's going to be a very, very bullish sign because there's so much happening in uh, ax as well the mobile app is going to be launching very very soon so that is a very very big sign for us that something good is going to be coming here now if we get into ar we can clearly see that we had a resistance here of 36.59 dollars now we are back into the trend and we are basically easier now into my spot we buy zone as well so we can dca here if you would want to but ideally we would want to break down break out from this our downtrend channel that we had been in for several months now so if we do break above this channel that would be a very very good bullish sign that would be about 39 to yeah about 39 dollars if we do get above that that would be a very very good sign and overall we do need some kind of momentum coming into ar for it to be looking very very bullish now we look into solana we did expect Solana to be coming in these regions and we are expecting Solana to go to easily $115. We can add on to our trades if we would want to. When we break this location overall, we can still expect some kind of pullback to be coming in Solana as well. Maybe in the regions of about $102 to from $104 would be a very good pullback. A very small healthy correction like we've seen here as well. We did come into zone one and then we blasted off now we are looking still very looking looking very very good so we can clearly see in the next 24 hours we can expect atom to remain sideways just trade in these regions ideally we would want atom to go and break its resistance at 33 dollars overall it looks very very good overall situation in atom is also very good if we get into avax as well we can expect avax to have some kind of correction at these zones and then probably have an upside rally this was zone and a small four hour downtrend line that i had drawn if it went above this this was a very key place for you to take entries as well even if you look at cypher and our MACD and looking very very beautiful overall very good price structure and we did expect some big signs to be coming here as a conference finish and i think the subnet news is definitely going to bring it upside and probably a big upside rally coming in avax as well because avax look really really good even if you want to see phantom quickly you can see that phantom is in a very good four hour uptrend looks very very good slowly coming back into trend this will be an area for us to probably get high into our add into our trades uh, probably add into our dcs spots and the next one would be the support that we were holding from 1.9667 that would be an idle place for us right now it's just been consolidating pretty sideways it's all right we can see this it's lacking a lot of volume right now because our other protocols are doing pretty much better right now than phantom but it's okay that's part of the markets that does happen now we get into luna we can clearly see that luna had a very good upside luna is right now trading in these regions ideally we want to add into our trades if we break above 97.77 just trading right now here we can expect some kind of pullbacks to be coming in this kind of regions as well looks very good had a w now we would expect this w to break out if it does break out we can clearly expect it to go back to that all-time high or even above the all-time high overall it looks very very good looks very very bullish as well so we have to be very very cautious here and be very carefully monitoring it overall if we look at some other coins also they have been performing really well most of the market right now is green so we can expect some kind of pullback to be coming we had our resistance at 10.492 and now we can clearly see that the resistance have broken out now we can expect us to be coming in the next zones which is going to be about 13 dollars so if we do get into that 13 dollars will be a very good sign that's where you can add into your trades if not you if you want to you want to bring it back into our support level of 9.590 and once that is broken then we can expect some kind of big upside move to be coming even if you look at it in four hours we had our lacking volume that we had in previous times so we would ideally want some volume to be coming in now we get into our startups on gate.io we can clearly see that we would want to get into a lot of coins now because market is looking very very bullish when the market looks very very bullish it's an ideal time to get into startups because they will pump really really hard people are more bullish now good sign is that retail is out of the markets right now so there's a big upside to get into and that would be a very good sign for us as well now animal concert is going to be happening in about about 42 minutes i hope you had done it in startup so that's going to be starting very very soon then we had discussed that we want to get into meta influence as well that's going to be starting very very soon as well in about 21 hours almost one day left even our mecca morphine may about 23 hours to go and even gamium we can expect about 23 hours to go so i do feel like you have to be very bullish on these coins these coins are going to be performing really really well and now even if you look into big data we can clearly see that big data looks very very bullish right now if we are at 60 level that we saw earlier as well overall we look at it, people's sentiments right now are pretty even stevens not much action going into the sentiments and even if you want to see the same market sentiment here everything is pretty much neutral right now except for zil zil is on sell doge is on sell 
uh, BGB is on sell and a coin is on sell because they had been bombing pretty hard overall we, if you look at the positions for everything looks all right looks very very bullish about 47 to 52 percent so that's pretty even even similar on ETH as well so we can still expect some kind of small correction to be coming in market to have that big upside rally whether this is going to be a fake out or breakout we're going to find out about in the evening today asian time we will have a clear idea whether this was a fake out or whether this is going to be a breakout bringing us back into big channels so if we jump into one week we can clearly see here that we are very very close to now bringing easily on my bullish and uptrend line usually when we come down this line we become very very bearish some kind of correction starts happening that we've seen here as well and then we when we break above that and we have a retest of it a good healthy one on the weekly time frames then we go to make some kind of all times high if we do go for an all time high we can easily go to 72 to 76 dollars depending how much sideways movement we have like we've had here and slowly slowly gradually we went up so a good top of seventy thousand dollars will look very very reasonable right now in the markets even if you want to see the magd magd has already started converging so that is a very good sign for us that maybe a big massive bull market is now starting like we've seen here like we've seen here another bullish upside to be coming before feeling like okay now we are in a very good place and very good time overall we still feel like we can still come back to about forty five thousand eight hundred to about forty four thousand ranges have a very good healthy correction and that would be a very good upside for us also in the markets so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and use my referral link get into gate.io startups because if the market goes bullish to the moon then i'm sure all these startups are also going to go to the moon so take care guys see you guys tomorrow